Hello everyone, welcome back to video here on the Omathcraft Season 4 server. This video is episode 42 of Omathcraft and in this one, well, we're starting off at my base yet again and uh, in this one we're gonna start, uh, well, we're not going to start a brand new project. I was just about to say that, I'm not going to do that, but I'm not going to work on previous projects as well. What I'm gonna do, as the title indicates, I'm gonna be going on various, various quests and those quests start from right here, this arrow right here and i know it's been well over a month since i've recorded any sort of a mathcraft video but well we're back now and we've got a, a few things to catch up on first of all our base is filled to the brim with very handsome mustaches like as you can see right here we've got a mustache over there a mustache over there a mustache over there i've already removed a handful of mustaches though they will never end and uh, we got some signs, some signs left here, uh, left by Cal, here with a couple of melons and well, you know, I guess everybody knows who Cal is now, the melon guy and the guy who now loves mustaches quite a lot. And uh, yeah, now that is a thing. And we've also got a, a few things I want you guys to, I want to catch you guys up on, uh, which I've been doing off camera. So basically. Um, well, I've only been doing one thing, and that is down here, as you've seen. Well, as you might have noticed, I've grassified this whole area. This whole area is filled to the brim with grass. The flooring is all grass. And I plan on turning this place into it's kind of sort of like a, a, nature ba a nature basement where I bring the overworld into the underground world. And, you know, many people have already done it before, so I was like, well, why shouldn't I do it in my own way? And, uh, yeah, I've got pretty cool plans for this thing i'm gonna need quite a lot of wool which i'm gonna be working on sometime soon i'm gonna be making wool farms and all sort of farms in this general area and uh, as you might have noticed we used to have a flower farm right here and a sugarcane farm right here i'm also going to be recreating those in massive kind of like uh, uh like how can i explain it like bigger than what they used to be and more advanced so i would get a lot more out of them uh, more well more than I used to get basically and that's pretty much it for things I've done off camera I haven't really done much but anyways that doesn't really matter because I've actually been busy that's my excuse for being lazy on the Mathcraft server and not recording any videos but without any further ado let's get into today's video and it starts as I said before from this arrow right here for pyro and we've got a book by Barry and then Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Those are ten IOU notes, which I'm. Wait, I gave Barry twelve IOU notes before. He returned ten. Excuse me. Okay, I have no clue what's going on here. Quest number one. Hello, Pyro. I am cashing in ten of my IOU notes. He's cashing in ten IOU IOU notes and like. At the same place, okay. I am in need of three netherite ingots to finish my conversion, which, as we all know, would be equal to 12 netherite scraps. Your cur what sort of conversion? Maybe like conversion from netherite, from diamond armor to netherite, okay. Sure. Uh, I have ju two scraps, I just need 10 more. So, for every netherite scrap, he's giving me an IOU, an IOU note. Please retrieve this for me, and we will be close to even leaving me only two IOUs left. Please get me back to you, to me with your response on Discord. Good luck, Barry. I thought this was completely different. Okay, the thing is, ironically... In this video, after doing whatever this quest was, which is totally what I didn't expect, the o well, it's not even the opposite of what I expected, it's like, I don't even know what I was expecting, to be honest, I was expecting something silly, like, go find this and these coordinates, and then come back, and then do other stuff, but no, it's something totally different. And he wants me to get netherite for him, and the ironic part of this whole thing is that in today's video, I was supposed to get netherite for myself. Seriously, like, if I check my ender chest now, I've got two shulker boxes here, filled to the brim with beds, which I was going to use to get netherite for myself later down the line to the, in today's video. This was 
totally unexpected. I guess I'm now gonna have to get a few, a, a whole lot more beds so I could have the quest thingy done for Barry. I mean, I'm not going to leave those 10 IU notes for him. I'm lucky that he gave them back because he could literally do anything with them, including this. Like, he is allowed to do that. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that there. There we go. I'm gonna keep the IO, IOU notes for myself. And it seems like I'm gonna have to get netherite for Barry. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Hey, I've got, I've still got a whole lot of beds here and some wool and stuff. So I'm gonna make a, I think I'm gonna make one more shulker box of beds. And we're gonna see what we can do with that. That came out of the blue. I now have a total of three shulker boxes full to the brim with beds right here. And I've also got this shulker box filled with extra stuff like a couple more potions, some cobblestone, and well, some things which we might need. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna keep this ender chest right here with me in my inventory. And now it's time for us to head into the nether and go netherite mining, not only for myself, but also for Barry. This is gonna be interesting, and I think uh, I'm going to be better off making uh, turning this session into a time lapse potentially so why not cue the music curious of how many ancient debris I got <coughs> not really but either way um, yeah let's uh, head right on and check our netherite uh, tongs not strongs stonks and well if I can aim properly there we go I've opened the chest and as you can see I managed to get a total of 25 netherite scraps right here now 10 of them go to Barry as we all know he gave us a challenge of bringing him 10 Netherite scraps who accepted the challenge earlier today in the video actually and um, Yeah, all my hard work Is going to go to Barry. So I guess I'm gonna put this in his mailbox over at communal And I bet he's gonna be watching this video. So he's gonna know where to find uh, his netherite scraps. So Barry If you want your netherite scraps, you know where to go. I know 15 for me 10 for him what the hell is going on in here and why did my mouse just pass out in that direction? Okay, that doesn't matter. What the hell is going on here on this wall? What what, what is this? This is a map, of course. Okay, as we know, this is a map uh, map art and all that. Cal 2020 vote. And then we have Cal's face with, I wait, with, what, with what I assume is missing pixels. Wait a second, I just realized his eyes are like the, nearly the exact same color as his mustache okay that's interesting to know but um, we've got this in our hands now C Cal 2020 vote or I guess vote Cal 2020 so I've heard about this actually and apparently Cal is running for this server's president and I have no clue what sort of privileges the president of this very server is gonna have but I guess if Cal is, Cal has already started his campaign, like his presidential campaign, I guess you could say, and um, he's leaving posters all around. I'm actually curious if I could find any more of these posters. I have, I, I've legit never seen 
like these sort of posters i've seen gary over here so let me introduce you to him real quickly so basically gary okay these weren't here before when i first saw gary but gary this is gary gary supports happiness fairness truth and melons for all that's why he's gonna vote cal join gary and vote for cal so cal is going all in with this he hired gary i know he has Barry as his sidekick, I think, or something like that, I don't know. And uh, he's leaving posters everywhere. <laughs> okay, there's one, that's another one. Gary has two, and uh, as we've seen before, at the mailbox. And even one of my shops got attacked here. Okay, let's just not think about that for the time being and leave Barry his little... I wouldn't say a gift, like, what would you call it? Um, I don't really know. Uh, like... Not a reward. I'm not going to reward him for something he didn't do. What could you say this is? Um, I guess maybe a gift? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep his netherite scraps right here. His, like, part of the... I don't know. It's like one of those games where people tell you to do missions and then you get the thing for them. That thing. Whatever it's called, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it to him. Basically, in this game, in Minecraft, it's called Netherite Scraps. So, I'm going to leave his Netherite Scraps over there. And I'm gonna start working on what I want to do in my base. Like, the actual progress and the stuff I want to do, like, for the video. What I have planned for the video, other than the whole quest thing and the Netherite. And also, before I go ahead and do that, I want to craft myself up a couple of Netherite ingots. So, I can turn my armor into uh thingy not only my armor and my tools as well into netherite so items so i'm gonna get that gold and there we go we can craft ourselves three netherite ingots now this isn't much but it's gonna do us good and i uh, know for a fact which things i'm gonna upgrade to netherite from diamond to netherite so what i'm gonna do is put netherite turn my pickaxe into a netherite pickaxe my boots and my leggings my boots and leggings because well they're armor and my pickaxe because i need my pickaxe quite a lot and it gets damaged heavily so having that extra durability and that little bit of extra speed is always good so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna return this gold as well then we're gonna head to this episode's work site where we're gonna do a lot of things. Well, I wouldn't say a lot of things. It's more of planning for future events and future stuff to happen. Oh my, am I not handsome? Oh yeah, and I also forgot about this. I'm gonna have to clear this out before I do any talking or recording around here. Even though I know that I'm currently recording, but well, it is what it is. So what I'm going to do in my towers, kind of industrial, my industrial tower settlement is that I'm just going to walk you guys through what I want to do in the near future. Now for this video, I'm quickly running out of time, so I really want to finish this up quickly, hopefully beginning in the next video or the video after that or whenever, sometime soon, I'm gonna start working on everything I'm going to be going through in this area. I know that I also have a handful of other projects which I still finish like my obsidian tower and communal which is going to be my obsidian shop i also want to turn that into a blackstone shop and my ice farm is still isn't complete and i also want to do a few tweaks over there at the ice farm you're gonna see more of that hopefully in the next video i'm going to start working on designing something for it and i'm also going to start working design uh, designing on something similar to it for this area right here which is going to be a giant emerald and if you're wondering why i want to place a giant emerald hanging in the sky it's because why the hell not seriously why not just you know get some green blocks and build a giant emerald in the sky people will know where the hell you live and it's just one of those random things which are which is really lovely and I also plan on removing this whole building right here including the farms inside of it and that's because I want to turn this thing into a creeper farm because to be honest, a creeper farm is a big circular kind of farm and this is more of a square and I think creeper farm would fit in nicely and also because, well, creeper farms is equal to gunpowder, gunpowder is equal to fireworks. And I plan on taking down this little pathway here and remaking it later down the line in a different manner and in a different pattern. Don't get me wrong, I do love the, uh, I do love the 
like the block palette I've used for this thing. And I might use the same block palette just in a different way. I don't really know, but I'm gonna tweak it. First of all, totally remove it. Then I'm gonna tweak it and remake it uh, down the line, later down the line in the series. But that's all stuff for the future, sadly, I have currently run out of time and can't do any of the things I just mentioned in today's video, but hopefully, starting the next video, I'm gonna start working a bit on this stuff, and uh, I'm also going to work on other projects, I'm going to start finishing them, instead of just starting them and leaving them behind. Anyways, as I said, I'm quickly running out of time, and uh, yeah, time to end off this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, also consider subscribing, as that is greatly, greatly appreciated, don't forget to follow my Instagram, and the Mothercraft Instagram names right here on the screen and for now i'll see you guys in the next video farewell lads